My First Summer in the Sierra by John Muir. September 10th. In the morning, at daybreak, not one of the 2,000 sheep was in sight. Examining the tracks, we discovered that they had been scattered, perhaps by a bear. In a few hours, all were found and gathered into one flock again. Had fine view of a deer. How graceful and perfect in every way it seemed, as compared with the silly, dusty, tousled sheep. From the high ground hereabouts, had another grand view to the northward, a heaving, swelling sea of domes and round-backed ridges, fringed with pines, and bounded by innumerable sharp-pointed peaks, gray and barren-looking, though so full of beautiful life. Another day of the calm, cloudless kind, purple in the morning and evening. The evening glow has been very marked for the last two or three weeks. Perhaps the zodiacal light. September 11th, cloudless, slight frost, calm, fairly started downhill, and now are camped at the West End Meadows of Lake Tenaya, a charming place, lake smooth as glass, mirroring its miles of glacier-polished pavements and bold mountain walls. Fine aster still in flower. Here is about the upper limit of the dwarf form of the gold cup oak, 8,000 feet above sea level, reaching about 2,000 feet higher than the California black oak. Lovely evening, the lake reflections after dark, marvelously impressive. September 12, cloudless day, all pure sun gold. Among the magnificent silver firs, once more, within two miles of the brink of Yosemite, at the famous Portuguese bear camp, chaparral of gold cup oak, manzanita, and cyanothus abundant hereabouts, wanting about the Tulamine Meadows, though the elevation is but little higher there. The two-leaved pine. Though far more abundant about the Tulamine Meadow region, reaches its greatest size on stream sides hereabouts and around meadows that are rather boggy. All the best dry ground is taken by the magnificent silver fir, which here reaches its greatest size and forms a well-defined belt, a glorious tree, a fine bed of its boughs tonight.